I know uh, I never knew public pages. I was just, you know, reading up on, because Facebook's always making the news about how, don't you hate that, how they always, remember the day of how simple Facebook was when you just had the simple wall, like the early yeah. days of Facebook? I love that design layout. I forgot. Apparently, you know what's funny? The, well, there's always those rumors going around that Facebook's going to start charging, right? That's been going on for the last five years. Apparently, they want to charge you, like, 10 bucks a month just to have privacy access features, unless that's just a trolling type news article. Maybe that's a trolling thing, because, like, yeah, sometimes, yeah, you can still privatize your shit. Because, uh, don't, I believe, pay, don't believe everything you read. I know, of course not. I, I, I'm just saying, if I, the day I pay 10 bucks a month to Facebook for anything is the day I probably deactivate my account. Yeah, <laughs> true. Um, but yeah, social media. Uh, can be fun sometimes just for the trolling but you also gotta have your limitations because I just know from my own is sometimes a person can take it too far but y y you want to be an intelligent troll or is there a thing is it, is it just a troll or do you have your stupid trolls and your smart trolls? They're all trolls. <laughs> They're just all trolls. Why do they call them trolls? Is it, is it just something someone made up like whoa Real like fantasy trolls, they live under a bridge and let, they like to fuck with you. That's why. Oh, basically, something. basically, like the troll is basically the, the common sense is basically a troll, internet troll is someone living in their mother's basement and just fucking with you. Oh, kind of like Star Trek fans. <laughs> oh, he said it. He said it. Am I gonna get heat for that? <laughs> Probably. But yeah, speaking of Star Trek, like the new one, Simon Pegg who wrote this movie. He, and he said in like the new trailer, he goes like, "What the fuck is this shit? This th looks nothing from what the movie that I wrote." Because whoever the director is, the trailer made it look like Fast and the Furious, which is not even like that. I never thought I would see the day you get excited about the Star Trek. I didn't say I was excited. I'm saying what Simon Pegg said. Plus, I like the new Star Trek movie because of like what J.J. Abrams did. I don't Do know. the hardcore fans like it that are fans of I have no idea. I'm no, I'm no, I don't know much oh, about it. Oh, is it that you fans. said you watched like one episode of the original? I, thought, oh, I watched two episodes of the original and I was so bored. The only reason I like the new Star Trek movies is because of J.J. Abrams. I love That's Breaking the only reason. I love Breaking Bad. Uh, Badger and Skinny Pete are... Uh, uh, Badger and Skinny Pete. Uh, are Jesse's friends. They, I love the scenes where they're, I think they're arguing about Star Trek really and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. But I don't think, I'm, I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna watch the new one because J.J. Abrams not directing it, some other guy. Uh, stuff. What about the Warcraft movie? Are you seeing that? That's by World of Warcraft, right? Yeah. No, I'm not watching that because I never played that game. I'm not interested. Did you see the Battleship movie that came out like five years ago? Yeah. And I don't want to see it, because it looks stupid. Plus, Rihanna was in it. Uh, for some reason, sounds interesting. Sarcasm. Adam Sandler, I was surprised. He's doing a movie straight to Netflix. He's been doing Netflix movies lately. Talk about someone whose uh, star power has fallen. No, it hasn't. What are you talking about? Netflix is huge. Oh, but he not he technically a Hollywood... Hey, as long as he's making uh, money, bleh, I can't talk. But as long as he's making tons of money, for your, his movies may be shit, but he does he's making a lot of money. His his comedy is is shit though, but not the same as Happy Gilmore days. He's gone downhill since yeah. then, right? But if he's still making money, yeah, Netflix is gonna sign him up. Like Netflix is not gonna sign Pauly Shore to make movies. <laughs> Pauly Shore. <laughs> yeah, I wonder did he do that? Documentary like ten years ago, just to say he's still alive or something. It, it was supposed to. He was he was making fun of himself, but it only got him over for like five minutes. What was your favorite Pauly Shore movie, if I had to ask you? Yeah, uh, Encino Man and uh, Biodome for just how stupid it was. I love Walter Peck, his appearance in Biodome. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh, speaking of Walter Peck, the Ghostbusters. Have you seen the horrible trailer for the new Ghostbusters movie? I reacted on that a few months ago. Yeah, uh, I it pissed me off, uh, and it pissed a lot of people off. And it just looks horrible beyond belief. Rephrase that. It pissed people from the '80s off, our generation off. Yeah, the new generation doesn't know any better. Not that I'm I think it's to... pissed everybody off. Not just from our generation, just everybody, because they and then at... Bill, they're all doing cameos except different characters. Right? Yeah, they're not playing original characters. Which is stupid. Is it because Harold Ramis died? Why no. They... 
It's not. It's the Ghostbusters. It's like a reboot or some shit. No, no, if Harold Ramis was still alive, would they still be doing this god awful piece of shit movie? Ghostbusters. I, probably. How excited are you for TMNT2? Uh, We're finally I, getting Bebop and Rocksteady. I may go and watch it, just to see how it is. But I like, I like to see what Krang looks like. They're putting the characters in now that they should have done in our fucking era, is what I'm saying. Yeah, except we got Razor and Tozar from Turtles 2. If they would have done it right, we could have got like five trillion. I'm interested to see how Seamus is in this movie. Oh, yeah. Because Seamus plays either Bebop or Rocksteady, one of the two. Which one was the Rhino? Uh, Rocksteady. Rocksteady. Yeah. Rocksteady was Seamus guy plays Rocksteady. Wait, Rock City, I think it was a black guy before he That was Bebop, isn't it? I kind of forget, but... Well, because, seriously, isn't Bebop sort of a black name? Kind of, yeah. Uh, name your kid Bebop. What kind of fucked up shit is that? I wonder if they're going to put Tolgar and Razor in. Because they're doing three movies, right? I guess so. Crane's Cray, not in this one. Crane's in this one. Oh, I thought he's going to be in the third one. No, he's in this one. Oh, shit. That's in the trailer, like... That's like the giant thing that he's in. How's X Men Apocalypse? Did you see it yet? It was really good. I liked X Men Apocalypse. Better than Captain America? No, Captain America blows everything out of the water, but X Men still stands good. Somebody was telling me this the other day. Captain America. Was it you that was telling me how Captain America's the most generic, bland superhero of all time? And you well, know. I think everybody thinks that, but it's still fun to watch. But really, Captain America is not the. Did greatest. you ever watch the one they did? He's the not 80s. the greatest Avenger ever. Captain America, the original one, the one, the one in like 1980s. No, I gotta watch that. I finally watched the Punisher movie from the 80s. It was not that bad. With Dolph Lundgren. Uh, what other crap are they rebooting that? Well, you know, uh, but you think Batman vs. Superman, right? I went off on that. I hate, don't get me started on that. But you think of Batman vs. Superman. God, I fell asleep in that movie. I don't even remember. I'm not gonna waste the time watching that again. Yeah. I just. I hope to God Suicide Squad. Was Christopher good. Nolan attached to Batman? No, he wasn't. Thank God. I, I thought he was, was attached to only the Man of Steel, produced by Christopher Nolan. <sighs> but I hope to God Suicide Squad. Did Lex Luthor really that have bad. a son in the comics, or was that? Yes, he has a son, but no one knows if this is actually Lex Luthor that Jesse Eisenberg played, or it's Lex Jr. I don't know. Jesse Eisenberg was the worst choice. I always play. get him mixed up with somebody else. Michael Sarah? Yeah. Like I said, they both look like identical twins or clones. So that's not just me then. I always thought that. Um. Yeah, so X-Men Apocalypse, does it tease us for the next movie or is it kind of a wrap up? Or tease us for what next movie? Or is this the final X-Men movie? Oh no, there's going to be more. Okay. It's not part of the MCU universe, but it's separate. Is it the fact that Marvel can needs the money by they have to ship all their franchises out to different studios? Excuse me. I don't know. It's like how that works because movie it's studios kind of retarded. Movie studios buy the rights to certain comic books, even though they're all part of Marvel, but they're different studios like Sony. Finally, letting Spider-Man be in Captain America: Civil War. I imagine there's a lot of meetings with lawyers involved. And oh yeah, definitely stuff like that. Sony and Marvel had to. There was a lot of lawyers. Oh, have you heard Stan Lee is only doing regional? He's only traveling between the LA and US. Yeah, he's not doing now. Canadian. So cons. he won't be coming up to Edmonton this coming year, like he did last no, year. No, no. Like, it kind of sucks though, but like. I wasn't going to pay $100 for his autograph. Yeah, d d I love the fact that when he's talking about DC Comics, he, he st doesn't trash them. He talks about them with a certain respect, but he doesn't compliment them at the same time. Because how does that stand Lee? But yeah, maybe it's just because he's a professional when he does his stuff, but you can also tell that he, it, obviously, Marvel is where he's still... He's probably st still technically gets a paycheck for Marvel somewhat. Of course, like he got to get some money from them. But yeah, and he even talked about it in his panel. There, it's not just him that put Marvel. There, there's people behind the scenes, like uh, I think Jack Kirby or something was another, yeah, another, another one of the writers. And you know, yeah, I, Marvel it, Cinematic Universe, no, they're pretty good at making their movies. Me and my infinite wisdom always thought, oh, it was Stan Lee that created all these guys. No, it was like far we, all, from we all thought that too, but then we grew up. 
But you know, uh, he's gonna have some creative input on all these movies, I imagine. The, Probably. Who knows what he could do? What the fuck were they thinking with Spider Man 3? How they made the Sandman a pussy and Eddie. Or the whole thing about Spider Man? Everything from Spider Man? The emo figure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the emo figure. I got a kick out of that. I'm gonna be honest with you. It was kind of funny. Uh, it wasn't totally bad, but. I know it's funny, but then it's just the movie ended, and you're wondering, what the fuck did I just watch? And wasn't Eddie Brock like a muscle head? Or yes, what? he was a muscle head. Fucking uh, Foreman. But then, like, the yes, they got Foreman <laughs> from the fucking 70s show to play Eddie Brock. Uh, what the fuck? Yeah, no wonder uh, they didn't do another. Maybe that or Toby McGuire was getting too old, but. No, they have rebooted because it was like so many people were like. Originally, wasn't there supposed to be six movies in that franchise? Yeah, there was supposed to be six. There was supposed to be six, but Spider Man 3, just horrible. What's going on with Sinister Six? Are they That's canceled. Fuck. Are you. Yeah. So they really teased it at the end of the. the... Yeah, but then, like, the new Spider Man came and, like, they have to make a whole new Spider Man movie. Yeah, because it's because he got. Prostituted out to the other studio. Not really prostituted out. They just made a deal. It's like you can't bring Andrew Garfield back for the Spider-Man because they already have a new Spider-Man guy, Tom Holland, who actually looks like he's a teenager. Because <clears throat> Andrew Garfield did not look like a fucking teenager. I think he's our age, or more or less, maybe a few years younger. Yeah, same as Tobey Maguire. They're pretty good Spider-Mans, but they were not teenagers. They did not look like teenagers. And Fantastic Four. What'd you think oh, of Oh, for fuck's sake, that fucking movie. <laughs> oh my god, the Fan Four stick. Which one are you talking about, the 2005 one? No, the, the 2005 one wasn't that bad. They were decent, and so was the sequel, Silver Surfer. Are you saying the one that came out last year was worse? Yes, have you not seen that one? Yeah, was it you that said it was like something out of Dawson's Creek or something? No. Like, or One Tree... Is this like that something out of like Degrassi or something? Oh, oh yeah, I said... Fast Fan Four Sticks is Degrassi, the the superhero edition. I think that was another one I fell asleep in. Uh, yeah, it was like it pissed it pissed off so many people. Like Ben Grimm, baby Ben Grimm, the fuck. They're all so young. I'm assuming now that that movie's not getting a sequel. It'll probably. Get it was supposed to have a sequel, but it went so bad. Now we have to wait another seven years to see if like the the rights are expire or if the movie company makes another movie so they can keep the rights because that's what they do all the time because you know the original Fantastic Four movie right from the 80s the 90s oh I somewhat uh, was that good or no it wasn't but it was it was but from what I heard it sounds like Fantastic Four movies are cursed no yeah they're cursed but at least it's decent than this one because the original one in the 90s they only did it because they were the rights were going to get expired and they had to do a movie before the rights went back to Marvel and so they made a movie, but they didn't tell the actors that they weren't going to put it in the theater. So all these actors were acting their asses off and didn't know that they were just doing a movie just for kicks. And when they finally were done, they never put it out in theater. They just put it in the vault. Tra Transformers. And then, oh. seven years later, the other Fantastic Four movie came with Jessica Alba, which they did that, and then they did a sequel. Seven years later, Rice when League expired. And then this piece of shit happened. So the the the, the mid two thousands one was better than yeah. the one that came out last. It wasn't year. that great. It was decent. It was watchable. Cause it, like, but it's far better than this one that. Came I think out. the one that came out last year they they focused too much on uh, high school petty drama shit than the actual story of the. Pandemic. They didn't focus on the Fantastic Four. They focused on other shit. And, uh, but the, what's the name of the, the nemesis of the Fantastic? Doctor Doom, and they killed him off? And they probably How the hell do you kill off Doctor Doom? They probably didn't even get, they, they probably got a lot of uh, stuff wrong with that as well, too, I assume. Well, they told the actors, do not read the comic books, because you're not supposed to read the comic books, so... They told them, if they, don't read the comic books, so they didn't give a shit what they were doing. The producers and the shit. And from day one... Everything you heard from the movie was bad and shit. Because so much shit started going down. Well, Marvel's got the Fantastic Force Marvel, right? Obviously. From the comics. But like I said, the movie studios is owned by Fox. I, yeah, Fox. is Fox owns... Yeah, Fox owns... 
Fantastic Four. It sounds like the only one that really, more or less, has gotten it right, with the exception of other movie, Marvel movies as good, is uh, Star Wars. Because I, I haven't heard one person bash Star Wars Episode Seven that came out like a year ago or last Christmas. Everyone yeah, some people have like, critique about it, but it wasn't that bad. Like, it was amazing. At least it wasn't a Phantom Menace. Or Indiana Jones, uh, the last one that came out with that, I hear now I stopped bashing about that one. Which I don't understand, because it wasn't that bad. Mostly they're bashing it. Like, the one thing they're bashing on is how Harrison Ford was way too old in this movie, yet they don't say shit about Harrison Ford being old in a Star Wars movie. Because they're saying, oh yeah, it makes sense for Han Solo to be old. So it didn't make sense for Harrison Ford to be old in... Indiana Jones? I'm still waiting oh, for the Shrine of the Fuck is that Fox sense? Indiana Jones sequel. Does that not make sense to you? Yeah, I agree, yeah. Because, yeah, that was the one thing they were bashing on, that he was too old, and then Star Wars came out. Oh, yeah, it's perfect that he's old. Like, fuck you guys. Get your facts right. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's what I hate about the internet sometimes. They complain about one thing, and then Star Wars comes out, and they go, like, oh, yeah, that was perfect. Like, what the fuck? Is it Chris Pratt that's supposed to play Indiana Jones? Yeah, I heard Christopher... Chris Pratt's supposed to play a young Shia Indiana. Shia LaBeouf is young right. Indiana Jones. So I thought Shia LaBeouf, they were going to do continue with Indiana's son, but obviously that's not the plan anymore. Yeah, because of how bad it was. But now they're doing a prequel to all of that, like Indiana Jones as a teenager. So they're like, I know for... Nostalgia Critic reviewed uh, the uh, Indiana Jones, uh, the one with uh, Spielberg's wife and the, the annoying little Asian uh, short uh, round. round. Short round. And this is just you know, my opinion. I still say that's the worst Indiana of all time, even though it is watchable. It's watchable, but it's it's full of stupid shit. Cause like the the annoying bitch that screams left and right. Think about this. Short round, and yet Shia LaBeouf gets eight. Raiders of the Lost Ark, which technically is the first Indiana Jones movie. That was kind of a serious, dark type movie, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then the second one was more of a fucking comical. It didn't really follow. Trait to the uh, that's what we was short round, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it didn't, you know, it kind of changed, was, yeah. changed things up with the tone of the movie, I guess is what I'm trying yeah. to say. It kind of like Batman Forever went all fucking campy and stuff as opposed to Batman. Not that I'm comparing it, yeah, 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 Batman Forever. At least it was better than Batman. Well, from what Batman. I know, Tim Burton was supposed to be on that, but he walked out due to a creative dispute. He wanted Marlon Wayans to be Robin. Marlon Wayans as fucking Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something out of a fucking Simpsons sketch. Yeah, exactly. That'd be so weird. It was uh, Nolan that wasn't a fan of Robin, right? In the Dark Knight series? Nolan didn't like Robin. The same reason that Sam Raimi never liked Venom in Spider-Man. But here's this. Batman, you know, the, the, the campy Adam West show? Apparently, uh, like, Aunt Harriet, which is Dick Grayson's aunt was just created for the sake of the show. Oh, He's right. not an actual comic character. Right. Unlike Harley Quinn, who was created just for the cartoon show, it would actually evolved into being the most lovable thing ever. Halloween craze. Every chick yeah. is dressed up as her, from what I know. Yeah, exactly. But Harley Quinn is a badass. And Harriet is just boring. Yeah, but I guess network TV in those days, they had to do it. And, you know, who would have thought that Kato... Uh, it was really the true star as opposed to the Green Hornet on a shoot. He could kick the Green Hornet's ass. <laughs> yeah, Green Hornet was just there. It was like, Kato was the one that could fight. And it, and it was they, fucking Bruce Lee of all people. And then they got their own show. I don't know however long it lasted, but... Yeah, but think about this. Kato is actually Bruce Lee. Yeah, that's what I find. So I think we all find that funny. No, it's not funny. It's badass. No, badass and kind of funny at the same time because he's... Taking a secondary uh, role, considering how big he is in Japan. Yeah, so true. And, uh, oh, uh, what's going on with your Power Rangers movie? Is that still coming out this year? Yeah, it's coming out. They have the new suits and shit. Who's playing Rita? Elizabeth Banks. What do you think about that? First, I was, like, wondering, why the fuck is Elizabeth Banks Rita Repulsa? Isn't Rita Repulsa supposed to be an Asian? But then I was, then someone told me, he's like, yeah, but you gotta remember, Power Rangers were some Super Sentai footage from the... Japan. Everybody there was Asian, so yeah, it makes sense for Elizabeth Bank to play Rita in this version because like it's American. To me, it commercializes it. Like, yeah, Americanizes it kind of. Yeah, because it's supposed to be Americanized. Not because like I always forget that Power Rangers is adapted from Super Sentai, where they shot it in Japan. So of course everybody's Japanese in there. 
Oh yeah, I did not know that till I became friends with you. I, I thought You're, it's like I didn't know that until I grew up. I'm like, wait, really? Wasn't was there like two Sh Ritas on the original show? The Sentai Rita, the the footage of Rita, he uh, put in a storyline where she said like, I need, I want to be young, make me look young. So they, as soon as she became young, you no longer needed the footage of the old shit, because Rita was old. So now that he got to put a post, it screamed all the time was old. Right. Yeah, but like, yeah, you got the actress, but Barbara Goodson was still the voice of Rita. Because I, like, I know one of them died. I don't know. The uh, Japanese, the Japanese one. Oh, okay. The one who played the uh, Rita. Okay, the one on the TV show. No, the one in Japan. So okay, I no, she didn't play Rita in a. Uh, in the Super Sentai, she was not called Rita. She was called Queen something. Uh, Queen Bash. I'm confused, sure. but yeah. Uh, so I need to take. What's a, the plot of this movie? I'll tell you in a bit. I just need to go to take a giant leap. Yeah. So, welcome back. Let's talk so about wrestling. We were talking. We were talking about Power Rangers before. I had to cut that shit out. Uh, eh, what were you saying? Like, what's the <clears throat> what's the movie gonna be about? What's the premise? Well, what's, of course, the movie's gonna be about five teenagers saving the world. Is that kind of a stupid question? <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of. What is the movie Power Rangers gonna be about? It's like, I don't know. They're gonna go for, find treasure and shit. They're gonna go on an adventure, they're gonna find a car that goes well, back to the future. Well, you think about it, Power Rangers, when they're not in fighting stance, it kind of is like Saved by the Bell and something. Back. That's what it was, but better. Well, not better. It wasn't camping. Okay, it was camp. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about anymore. Okay, what's the Power Ranger movie about? Five teenagers. Add it for nostalgia purposes, too. Get, get into a... Uh, Rita comes in and basically says, I'm... I'm on to you and shit, so basically they have to save the world and like make the Megazord and shit. Has the question ever come up? They're, they're teenagers, they're underage, right? They're, some of them probably don't have their licenses yet. Yeah. Where the fuck, what the fuck were their parents thinking when they- We always ask that, like, where the fuck are their parents? But no one cared, parents don't care. In the show, you only seen their parents one time. And then literally, in one episode, it, a, a kid, an elementary kid, was a Power Ranger, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Whenever that first happened, Justin, the blue Turbo Ranger, people were not happy. But they actually took a liking to him, because he was actually <sighs> decent. He was actually an awesome Power Ranger. And I've also said this before, Billy, in the early episodes, it's like he got aged 20 years as the show progressed. Well, he was the oldest of the cast. He was like 25 at the time. David Yost or yes, yeah, or David Yost. He was like the oldest of the cast. And they're still going on about the fucking. It's like, yeah, we all know the black guy was a black ranger. It's, uh, the the Asian Power Rangers was a little bit racist, but hasn't that subject been beat to death? Yeah, it was, but still, it was like, it, how can you not? The Black Ranger was a Black Ranger, and the Asian Ranger. Hell, you got a picture of what, the Black Ranger. Did you ask him about that when you uh, no, met him? No, uh, he, get, he gets asked that in every uh, panel. When I went to his panel, he even asked him that. He was like, yeah, I get asked that all the time. The question I asked him was like, Angelo, how, like, how the character of Zack was like, how do you not see that she was a gold digger? Which was, he laughed a bit. He goes like, man, I don't know, because we players, we do that shit. Uh, okay, this is a, the guy that played... Uh, uh, Green Goblin in the first Spider-Man movie. What was it? That I, I, I just can't think of the actor's name. Uh, uh, so the apparently, the, the crazy ass dude. He, I he was, hates I being asked about Spider-Man, but he, he likes intelligent questions about other movies he's done. And I know we've talked about that before. Yeah, too. it's better to ask actors about other movies. Or it's like Mick Foley. It's better to ask them about other movies they've been in instead of asking them about the same goddamn movie all the time. Yeah. Like, uh,. You know, William the Foe, that's yeah. his name. He did a lot of serious shit before uh, Spider-Man. He likes being asked questions like that stuff. Boondog Saints. I love them in the Boondog Saints 1 and 2. Or Robin Williams if he was still alive. Ask him about like... Good Robin Williams. Williams is still alive? No, if he was. Oh. He probably gets asked about Miss Doubtfire, or did, about Miss Doubtfire. Or mostly Mork. Or... I think really? he mostly got asked about Mork. Really? I thought that was kind of obscure, but... Well, that's what got him popular. Yeah, no, no, Mork. but... Good morning, Vietnam. Was that the one where you played the radio DJ? Yeah. I get. I bet he barely got asked about that. I would assume. That could be wrong. Or Dead Poet Society. I barely think anyone asked him. Dead Robin Poet Williams Society. could do drama too. He did that. Uh, Jacob the Liar. If you've ever. I've never seen, seen Jacob the Liar. I need to see that. Have you seen him in one hour photo? Fucking creepy. Oh stuff. my god, dude! First time I seen him in that 
I would go like, holy shit. I love Death to Smoochie though, even though it's a campy ass shit that I, that's guilty pleasure. I still haven't seen Death to Smoochie yet. I've seen uh, World's Greatest Dad. You know what's scary about that though? That was the first movie World's I seen. Greatest Dad? Yeah, World's Greatest Dad. What's that about? I've never heard of it. I'll tell you right up in a few seconds. You know what's scary about that movie? I watched that. That was the first movie I watched the day after he died. Because oh. I was thinking like, let's watch a movie from Robert, let me watch a movie from Robin Williams where I've never seen it before. And guess what the movie's about? His kid commits suicide, tries to commit suicide, and I'm thinking, oh shit. I'll ask you. Well, the, no, no. Okay, the, I'm sorry. That's, think about that shit. Yeah, he, yeah, I, I like, see Robin point. Williams commits suicide, and I'm like, I'm gonna go see a movie where I haven't seen Robin Williams in. World's Greatest Dad, first 10 minutes, his son tries to commit suicide. I go like, oh shit. But you know, there's a reason why he killed himself though, too. Not he was he majorly depressed. And he was sick. Yeah. Dementia or something. Dementia and like drinking and all the drugs. And he was gonna make Miss Out Fire too if he had lit. Right? Oh no. I'd never do. No. Would you, would you actually want to see Mrs. Doubtfire too? No. That was going they on could, for They years. couldn't really do a story. I could see an interesting enough that story. That was supposed to happen for years. And I'm so. Uh, you know. It's sad that he died, but I'm so glad Robin Williams did not do Mrs. Doubtfire 2. And they're going to remake Jumanji. I don't know if he'd be... They did redo Jumanji. It was called Goosebumps. No, they're doing an actual Jumanji. I know, but that's what I've been joking around. They're actually doing Jumanji. I think The Rock's in it. I think The Rock is in it. I thought he was running for U.S. president or something. The Rock? Yeah, he wants to run for president. Since when? That's the latest news, or unless he's just joking. I think he's joking. Have you seen how big The Rock's arms are now? It's even bigger than before. Ugh. Dude's Jack, man. It's like, d dude goes from small to huge to fucking beast. I don't know how he does it. Like, he's he's becoming bigger for his new Fast and the Furious movie. Still making those? Yeah, that move, those movies are never gonna end, man. They'll never I'm end. just not a fan of those movies. They're just not my thing. They're Ocean's Eleven on cars now. That's all they are, dude. They no longer are drag racing. They become something else. Vin Diesel's still doing them? Yeah, of course Vin Diesel's still doing them. So I thought after like... Wasn't there a period where he wanted to... No, dude, so let's be serious about this. Fast and the Furious was never about Paul Walker. Did anyone give a shit if Paul Walker was in the sequel? I like Paul no. Walker. Yeah, I know, I'm saying back in the day though. Did, truly, honestly, did anybody give a shit if Paul Walker was in the sequel? I'm gonna Fast say no. No. All they gave a shit about was how Vin Diesel wasn't in the sequel. Back in the day, everybody was bitching, saying, what the hell happened to Vin Diesel? Where is Vin Diesel? No one gave a shit about Paul Walker. And of course, Paul Walker is amazing, but the whole movies were basically mostly on Vin Diesel. And people were so happy when Vin Diesel and finally got his role. And Hot Girls. But people were more satisfied when Vin Diesel finally came back to his role. Oh, I thought he was like Megan Fox, kind of the of the Megan Fox Transformers, where they could continue the movies without him. No, you can't do it. It was like, you can do it without him, but mostly people were mostly asking. So does Fast and Furious I... actually have a, a story arc? <laughs> <laughs> or am I, should I rethink what I really, should say? It's the Fast and the Furious, man. Yeah. It's, there's Car no story. Dude, they just do shit. I, they do it in cars. End of movie. Amazing stunts. I like movies with stories. That's why I, 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 I like. Yeah, don't, but don't you're not gonna we see all that. like looking at nice cars, but yeah, for three hours at a time. You're not gonna see that in Fast and the Furious. Fuck Transformers when they uh, were they looked like hot, flashy cars before they transformed into the whole uh, uh, Transformers thing. But like speaking of Transformers, you know how like all of us were like so pissed off with what Michael Bay did, like like basically stabbed us in the heart for doing this shit. Now the women know how we feel. With Jem and the holograms, they know how we feel. Now they know the pain that we feel. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to a friend of mine. I was like, how could they do this to Jem? And I'm like, now you know how we felt with Transformers. I told you the story of my sister and when I ran uh, Jem and the hologram. She did not look too, uh, well, number one, she didn't care really, but you could tell she wasn't. I don't think asking. any woman was happy about that. Man. No woman was happy with Jen Oliver. Have you ever seen Magic Mike? I just have to ask. No, I don't want to see Magic Mike. Why would you say that? Just talking about chick movies. <laughs> I don't, I'll watch chick movies if they have a good story, but I'm not going to watch Magic Mike. I'm not going to watch two hours of Channing Tatum being half naked in the Did movie. I tell you, I originally thought Channing Tatum, Tatum was a chick. Just What? 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 I thought that it's, it sounds like a girl name. Channing. Oh, before you saw him. Before yeah. I realized it was a guy. Oh, yeah, I get you now. It's like, yeah, Channing Tatum sounds like a girl's name when you first hear it. Yeah. 
Uh, I was like, oh my god, my name's Channing. I'm just I'm wondering the, if Jonah like, Hill I'm was on the poster. Valley. If Magic Might, they did like a seat, the, like, like a. I, I'm just wondering if Jonah Hill was in the title role of that movie, if it would sell for sex, for, from a woman's perspective. Jonah Hill? No. <laughs> As, no, I can imagine jo that would be a comedy if that would happen. I would watch Magic Mike if it was a comedy and it starts Jonah Hill. That would be funny, fucking amazing. <laughs> Magic Mike starring Jonah <laughs> Hill. It would be like an Adam Sandler movie. Be I bet you Happy Madison Productions would do that shit. Hell, they did Bucky Larson, the Born to Be a Porn Star. I could see him doing like that shit, like Magic Mike starring Jonah Hill. And Jay Berenshaw and the rest of the Rat Pack, the rest of the new Rat Pack. There's a new Rat Pack? Yeah, you don't know about the new Rat Pack. No, I don't. Well, why would I? You know I don't follow that oh, shit. Oh, okay. Seth Rogen, uh, all them guys, Jonah Hill, Jay Berenshaw, uh, Ant-Man, whatever the fuck his name is, Paul Rudd, oh. the director guy that did Knocked Up, I keep on forgetting his name. All them guys. Craig Robinson, they're basically the new Rat Pack of this generation. That's kind of... Did they just call themselves that? Or? Oh, Entertainment Weekly called them that, or oh. some magazine, I forgot. Oh, uh, did you hear, what's your thoughts on Johnny Depp being a woman beater? Do you have any thoughts? What, Johnny Depp is a woman beater? What? Why filing for a divorce? Because he beat her up or something? Domestic abuse? Oh, shit, like... Like, well, I, yeah. I thought you you follow all that. Well, on that I didn't know, but like, Johnny Depp, well, like, yeah, I hope he gets divorced I just, shit. you know, it's like... We all love his movies and as talented as he is, but yet, excuse me, yes, you have to play a normal role. Well, once in a while he plays a normal role, but you barely see that shit. I'm surprised. I wonder when the next Pirates is coming out. It's been long enough. Are they still doing Pirates? They are, but I don't know when that's coming out. It's like, what? Thing? I love the fact that Jeffrey Rush. He he's the dude that, that played the title villain in Pirates. Uh, he's also from that Oscar-winning movie in the '90s, The Piano or whatever the fuck. Jeffrey Rush was in The Piano. Or he did some type of the pianist or something. Some movie he won an Academy Award for. I, I don't know, look that up, but yeah. Uh, uh, Jeffrey Rush. I could see him being like an Oscar nominated actor. What do you think of Leonardo DiCaprio finally winning an Oscar for Awesome? Well time. God damn. It took him a long time. What do you think, think of that bear scene in The Revenant? I haven't seen The Revenant yet. Oh, well, you haven't? I was going to watch it on the plane when I was coming back from Montreal, but I had my headphones on and like I could barely hear shit. Did so, you, yeah. Did you get first class meals? No. You don't get first class meals. I, I mean, I'm in an economy seat, man. I hear we're, we're in the poor section. Is, is it a common thing that when you travel economy, you get treated like shit by the uh, stewardesses? Well, they're not you only get the ones not that shit, but they don't treat you that nice. So it's in first class that they treat you like royalty. In first where you class. can sleep with them and stuff like that. Who's whatever? Okay, I guess. no, I'm just. <laughs> 